Hello, and welcome to How to Solve a Rubik's Cube in 30 Seconds. This has been a multi-part series to teach you exactly how to do the Rubik's Cube in 30 seconds. This is additional moves for Part 3. If you haven't watched the original Part 3, I highly suggest that you watch that first before you go ahead and watch this part, because this is additional moves that wasn't shown in Part 3. Now, if you haven't seen the entire series, then you probably need to stop and start with Part 1. Um, and just to give you a quick rundown of what happens, in part, I solve the cube differently than most people do. I don't use the top layer, middle layer, bottom layer method. I use what I call the X's and O's method. And what I mean by that is I put... I solve all eight corners first, thus putting an X on every side. And then after I've done that, I then do the edges and on all six sides. Um, I find it to be a faster method than uh, solving the cube in another way because of its fewer turns in this way. Um, in the first part, I taught you how to put an X on the top. Uh, and so I'm going to actually show you. This is what we looked, it looked like at the end of part one. There was an X on the top, and then these two across the top all match their middles, which means these four corners were in the correct spot. I actually set up a second cube to basically show you the exact same thing. There's an X on the top, and then these four all match here. In part two of How to Solve a Rubik's Cube in 30 Seconds, we worked on the bottom four corners. And part two taught you how to just make sure that even though the, they, they may not have been flopped right, you actually have all four corners so that the three colors match the three centers, even though they're not turned. So uh, let me actually put that. So basically here is what that looks like. Blue is to blue. No, that's not. Ha, ha, ha. I meant to do this. Blue is to blue. Yellow, uh, white is to white, red is to red, and if you look over here, even though this is a blue, yellow, red, it's not turned properly, but it is a blue, yellow, red place. It belongs there. This is a green, yellow, red. It belongs here. And the white, green, red, it belongs here. So th uh, that's what we taught you in part two, is how to put the four corners in the right spot. And this third part, if you watched part three, was how to actually then turn these corners to make the X on the top. And by putting the X on the top, you essentially are putting an X on every side of the cube as well because you've got these in the right spot, so you're solving them. Now, in the original part three, I taught you how to actually do uh, one of the moves. And that was if you had, uh, and again, this is the side with the X, this, so this is the other side, the opposite side. If you had one piece in the upper right, right corner, and that same matching piece here, I gave you a set of moves in that part three, that original part three, that showed you how to uh, put the next on every side. I got a lot of um, comments asking me for some of the other combinations because the truth is you could also have one where the X is where even the, the, uh, the center piece is here, but it's not here, it's actually here. That's a different combination. You could also have one where there's two this way, two this way, and then there's even one, which I'm going to show you as well, where you actually have the middle, but you have none. Uh, I'm going to show you these two moves on how to quickly do an X, and thus putting an X on every side, and these two situations. So let's start with this one. Put the X that we did in step one on the bottom, and this is the top face, the one we're going to put an X on, thus putting an X on every side. And in this particular case, you want to keep it on the top, and you want to put two of the greens uh, or two of the top color facing you, like you we have here. We have two greens, and it's a green center, so these two greens. And you want to do this following five moves. Right two times, top two times, right clockwise once, top two times, and right two times. Okay, so now I'll just straighten it up so you can see. Those are the five moves, and now the green has got an X, and thus we now have the X on every single side. So we are ready to move on to step four, which is all about the edges. So that was a very simple five-step move that anyone can learn. Put that aside. Let's now go back to this one. This was the one X on the bottom. Again, I have it all there. And we have the one, but we don't have the one here. And I was going to talk about how we're going to do this particular move. So in this particular case, what I need to do is I want you to put the X again on the bottom. 
so that the so side we're going to solve the x on is here on top. And again, it also will put an x on every side here. And what we're going to do is we're going to do, and also I should say that you want to put the x with the one center that matches, the, the red center matching the red here up there. In that case, it puts the one red over here. So that's your top side and hold it this way. And you want to do these seven moves. Right, clockwise, upper, counterclockwise, I'm sorry, upper twice, right, clock, uh, I'm sorry, right counterclockwise, upper counterclockwise, right clockwise, upper counterclockwise, and right counterclockwise. So let's straighten that up. And now we still have that X on the bottom, we have the X on the top, and now we have that in every time. But now what we've done is we have two extra things where we've put an X on every side. And now we're ready to move on to step four. Hope you watch this. I hope you uh, are getting some benefit out of it. Please write me any questions and comments. I will respond. I appreciate it. Have a great day.